Hey, Lenny. I can see you're in front of the New York, New York Hotel there in Las Vegas getting ready for the LV Rug Conference. So uh, given COVID and everything else, tell us what's changed and what to expect when we prepare to get to uh, Las Vegas in December for the conference. Well, thanks, Phil. Um, it is September 10th on a nice, warm Friday night, and I'm standing in front of the New York, New York. I just wanted to provide those of you that are very leery about what's going on in Vegas. Um, as you can see, I'm not wearing the mask. A lot, a lot of the people, when they get outside, they don't wear the mask. Some people still do. You're not required to wear the mask outside, but you are required to wear it when you go inside the buildings. Unless you're sitting down in a restaurant, you have food and drink in front of you. One of the things I learned as well is if you have a drink in your hands, you don't have to have the mask on because you're drinking. I don't like that functionality, so I still pull up the mask whenever I'm walking around in the casino area. Nobody corrects you or gets onto you that I've encountered in a couple of days I've been here. But there is a mask mandate right now in place, inside, in the doors, uh, in all the casinos and so forth. Another change that I ran into was coming from the airport to the hotel, the taxi cab driver starting a week ago, uh, beginning of September, I would assume, they now have a fixed rate based on what casino slash hotel you're going to. The fixed rate is only between the airport and whatever casino you're going. So it cost me $24 flat rate in a taxi to come here to New York, New York. That's a nice thing because then you don't have a taxi cab driver taking you all over the place to get you to where you need to go and charge you $40, $45, and it's not worth that amount of money for a short distance that we're going to. Well, then so that way you get, the, you get the scenic rate. You get the scenic route. You get the whole tour of Vegas for $24. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Well, you get the last less of a scenic view because they take you now directly to the hotel instead of taking you the long back way down I-15. I've had that happen to me before just to come to MGM. So, that so that's great. something to be aware of. Any other changes we shouldn't be aware of uh, at, on September 10th? For the Is, that is are, not are the inner a lot of people any, still have any other changes hot rods That's going it. around but there are a few changes as in across the street from the park mgm is a now a target a burlington and a olive garden that wasn't here before so you have that available the hooters hotel and casino has changed to o oya oyo or on your own and that's become more of an upscale. And across the street, of course, from there, the Hard Rock has changed names. I don't know what the name of it is, but it has changed names as well. Sounds great. Sounds great. Listen, I appreciate it. We're looking forward to, to uh, seeing you again and everybody else in Vegas on, in December. And as you're well aware, things are likely to change between now and then. So uh, have a safe trip back, and we'll see you at the conference. All right. Thanks a lot.